Do you want to know how we can build a free WordPress blog website? In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can make your own WordPress blog, which will look something like this. So you can see that this looks professional, but you can do it for free in just a few minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do to get a WordPress blog like this that you can fully customize and fill with your own content. So if you want to make your own WordPress blog for free, keep watching this video and let's get started. The website that we're going to be using to build our website and to get access to WordPress is called Pantheon. So you want to go to pantheon.io. Once you're on here, you can click on the get started button in the top right corner and then you can create your own account. So simply enter the info right here or sign up with your Google account and then go ahead and access your dashboard. In your dashboard, you should be able to see the create new site button. If you click right there, this will send you over to this page where you can go ahead and create your website. So create your Pantheon site. This is what we're going to do to set up our WordPress blog and get access to a WordPress page. So what you need to do is enter your Pantheon site name. For example, my online blog, right? And then your domain name would be myonlineblog.pantheon.io. The reason that Pantheon is included in the domain name is because all of this is free. This is a free website tutorial, so there's no way around this. If you don't want a branded domain, you got, you're gonna have to pay. There's no way around that. Anyway, click on continue so that they're gonna build your website. Once you're done with that, you need to choose your CMS. So we're gonna be going with WordPress because we wanna create a WordPress blog. So make sure you go ahead and click on WordPress and then wait for this to load. Next up, you should be able to see two buttons on your website dashboard. One of them will say visit development site. The other one will say site admin. You can click on one of them and you'll then be able to install WordPress onto your website. So simply choose the language that you wanna use on WordPress, then go ahead and click install. Next up, they're gonna ask you to come up with a site title, an email, a password, and all of that. So make sure you go ahead and submit that info. You can then click on install WordPress so that you've installed WordPress onto your website. And there we go, we now have access to WordPress. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how we can install templates, plugins, and all of that good stuff so that you can build your own blog for free without any experience. Let's get into that right now. All right, so like I just said, for that, we're gonna be installing a couple of plugins. So you wanna to go to plugins and then click add new. If you then click right here, you can search for Astra and you can install this plugin. It's this one right here, click install now. And then you wanna wait until you can activate it. Click on activate and there we go. So right now we've got the starter templates uh, plugin. If you click on see library, it will send you over here and on here you can find a lot of different templates that you can choose and that you can use on your website or blog. So if you sim simply filter this for free and then also filter for blog, you'll see a few templates. Now in the top right corner, you can also select a page builder. So depending on which page builder you choose, you're gonna see a few different um, templates. But what you need to do is simply choose a template that you like. You can also just go with the all and then just transform it into a blog if you want to. But first of all, make sure you go ahead and choose a template that you like. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna choose blog just like that. And then I'm gonna go with this one right here. Next up, once you've chosen a template, what you can do is preview it and see if you actually like it. So simply scroll down and you can view the website. So this looks pretty cool, pretty professional. To import it to your website, you can click on import complete site in the bottom right corner. Wait for this to load, then click import. And it's then gonna import the template onto your website. Import it successfully. All right, click on the cross, then go back to plugins and click add new. Because what we're gonna do now is install a website builder plugin, which is Elementor. So we're gonna be using the free version of Elementor because remember, this is a free tutorial, but with Elementor, the website builder, you can build your website so that you can customize it with all of your own content. So make sure you go ahead and stick around until you can activate it, click activate, and then there we go. What you can do next is go to pages. On here, you wanna find the home page. I'm pretty sure that it's this one, let's check. Yes, it is. If you then go back, you can click on edit, and you can also click on edit with Elementor. I should have clicked on that right away, 
but let's click on edit with Elementor. This will send us into the website builder from Elementor. And here we are, we're now in Elementor and we've created this blog. So what we can now do is start customizing all of the content on our homepage. What you can do for that is simply click right here on edit section and you can then start customizing all of this. Let's say that you wanna start off by changing the text. What you can do is simply select it, hit backspace and then type whatever you would like to add. So maybe you wanna say, I am Gary, a travel blogger. You can then do that. Maybe you wanna add come, so it says come travel the world. So that it says come travel the world with me. So you can see where this is going. You can customize all of the content on your website. I'm sharing my adventures on this blog. Join the adventure by subscribing to my newsletter. So you can customize all of the text, the fonts, the sizes, the colors on your template with Elementor. You can do that on here in the content editor, or you can simply select it on your template and then customize it. We also have two buttons on here. What you can also do is use these buttons. So if you go to the text editor right here, you can view these buttons. What you can do is highlight the text, click on edit, and then right there you can link it to whatever you would like to link it to. So maybe you wanna link it to um, the about page. What you would do is type in hashtag about page, then also add that on the about on the about page itself, the hashtag so that it actually connects. And then if people click right there, it will send them over to the about page. It's not working yet because I didn't add it. But this is where you can start building your entire blog. Make sure you remember to click on update right here so that you can actually save it on your website. What you can also do is preview your blog by clicking on the I. It will then send you over to your blog. So this is what my blog currently looks like. So I'm Gary, come travel the world with me. I'm sharing my adventures on this blog. Join the adventure by subscribing to my newsletter. So this is pretty cool because I only spent a couple of minutes and right now I have access to WordPress. I've installed a blog template and I can now start customizing and filling this blog with my own content. Once again, if you go back to Elementor, you can continue customizing your entire blog. Now, because I don't know exactly what you're looking for, I'm not gonna build out this entire blog on camera right now, but this is where you can build your blog. So this is only the homepage. You can also add sections. If you simply click right there, click on the plus icon, you can add a lot of stuff. Maybe you would like to add some images. What you would do is drag that on here, click choose image, and then upload an image. Maybe you wanna add this one, click insert media, and there you go. This is pretty cool, right? So this is where you can start building out your entire blog and fill it with your own content. So that picture is now showing up. Now, apart from this, you can also customize your other pages. Once again, go to pages right there, then find the page that you would like to edit. Let's see if this is the correct one. This is probably a different blog, but anyway, you get the point, find it, then click on edit with Elementor and you can then start editing that one as well. So yeah, that's pretty much how you can start building your own blog for free on WordPress. So in a few minutes, I've set up this blog, which is pretty cool. If this video helps you out, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on this video. That would help me out. And then I'll see you in the next one.